We all know Karens like to do some pretty crazy things. So in today's video, we take a look at several Karens that stepped over the line and received instant karma. Now, this first Karen is being refused service, but won't accept that they've just made a mistake. Take a look. But why? Just to explain to me why, Kiki, you're refusing my services. Sir. Because I'm mixed race? That's why? Because I'm half black? Yes, that's what I feel. <laughs> That's what I feel because really? I have a Sir, double I have a double room. Money, no, I have no, no, a no. double room. I have no. a double room and then the room is wrong on go. my reservation. That's 72 and 31, sir. I'm gonna cancel the reservation. You have a blessed rest of your day, sir. May I have a receipt for the cancellation, please? Yes, you sure can. After being politely told to have a blessed day, he continues on with his Karen words. Because you didn't want anyone to deal with me anyway. Just racist. Wow. Wow, oh my God. Well, definitely I got you on tape and it'll definitely go to Motel 6 and it'll definitely go viral. So you're refusing, you're refusing my service because I'm light-skinned with long hair. <laughs> like, real talk, you're refusing my service. You laughed at me when I walked in and you're refusing my service now. Just tell me, why are you refusing my services? I already paid, the room is wrong, and I said, here, and you just said, no. It's gonna go viral anyway, but just tell me though, Kiki, why are you refusing my services though? Real, this is the Motel 6 way? Motel 6, Kiki is refusing my services for no, what is your reason why, Kiki, that you're refusing my services? I booked, the room is wrong, and I still didn't give you no complaint. I walked in, you laughed because I, I pulled instead of pushed, or pulled, like, come on, and then you're refusing my room. Like, I don't get it. What's good? But it's cool. Now, unlucky for the man filming, because his video did go viral, except things didn't go his way when everyone took the worker's side. What would you do if you had to wait for your food, all because a Karen was having a meltdown? Well, don't forget to take out your phone and film just like this guy did. That jack man! Well, you look nice tonight. <laughs> you look like a cat that should be... Actually, you know what you look like? Every politician out there. Okay. God bless America. America great, good. I need sauce. I have no sauce. They might not be coming back. Well, get your sauce. I will if the mother comes back to the window. This is this is the problem with America, everybody. Right here, I'll bet I'll bet My this. My food was ordered forty-five minutes ago. So is ours. Now we have to eat cold tacos because you're being a little kid. Once again, the only thing this Karen has her eyes set on is her sauce. Even if I pull up, I'm not leaving. Uh, well, could you please pull up so we could have our food? When I get my sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so he's serious about this sauce now. Gotta get that sauce. I honestly don't even care about the food anymore. This is, <laughs> this is pure entertainment value. This like. I see. I, you're serious, ma'am. Yes, I'm serious. Yes, I'm you're serious. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm serious too. Don't with me, you mother. Okay. Get the, I'll put my car in reverse now, so you. Well, I, I'm recording right now, you idiot. So do I. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then you can record yourself being dumb. But what she says next is hilarious. I don't have any sauce. <laughs> Why? Dude, <laughs> her, her, husband, give me my sauce. her husband is probably such a happy man. <laughs> they probably have the cops on the way and they want you to stay right there. Honey, this is North Franklin Township. There are no cops. Oh, okay. It's the I wild. It's the all right. Away. Well, when the, when the cops come, you'll see that there's cops. There are none. Okay. The state police aren't going to come unless it's life or death. Is it life or death? Oh, right, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Apparently, it is life or death. Look how you're freaking out over sauce. Do you eat tacos without sauce? Yes, I do. Well, you're special, aren't you? I am pretty special. <laughs> she eventually gets on her way, but still without any sauce. You would think that you were allowed to hang any flag in your store. Well, this Karen had other plans. Hey, I'm just curious, what is that flag right there? That flag? What is that? Flag? I think it's a pride flag. Can you can you take it down, please, right now? For what purpose? Because it offends me greatly. Can I get a manager up to the front, please? Yeah, that stuff is satanic. We can't have that, especially at PetSmart. I'm 
Okay. Excuse me, what is that flag right there? That's a pride flag. Can you take that down, please? No, PetSmart um, supports belonging, which includes for LGBT. So you support pedophilia and child sexualization? Because that's what that stands for, man. Oh. They're sexualizing kids with that flag, man. Well, so I feel I'm very offended, and I would like it to be taken down. Well, well we're going to ask you Respect your customers. You? Respect your customers, and please take it down for me. Well, we aren't going to. We are supportive of LGBTQ plus people here, so we're gonna have to ask you to to leave. Do you, you know what the real? Re that's that's the that's the rainbow of Satan. The real rainbow is from God. The real rainbow is from God, man. That's the rainbow of Satan. So it's very offensive to me. Despite being told to leave numerous times, he continues to speak his mind until another employee gets involved. Very good. Thank you for coming by and sharing that with us. But we'll. Uh, do you know, you don't support it, do you? I do. Support Yes. You support sex, sexualization no, of the children? The LGBTQ do you know what you know what they're doing to the kids, right? They're they're they're, they're, they're We're asking you to leave. They're trying to they're, So you're, you're uh, breaking the law now because we've asked you to leave and you aren't. They're so. sexualizing kids that with the, with that propaganda. It's disgusting. Can Our country is going downhill because so. of it. Jamie, can I get you to the front, please? We're asking you to leave. Soon. Wow, Peco Peco sexualizes kids. They support the sexualization of kids. Wow. Yeah, this, uh, you guys are promoting the pride flag, which is satanic. Okay, you gotta go, bud. Come on. We don't need it here. And you don't need to film me either. It's cool, but we don't need it. I mean, you want it, you want to stand outside, that's cool, but we don't need it. Okay. And yeah, we're gonna have the pride flag up. We have it all over our store. Okay. So, so you guys support the sexualization of kids? I'm just not gonna get into you. You guys support so you can, no, sexualizing you can, kids? You can go. You can go. I can call shame the police. On you. Shame on you. Shame, shame on you guys. Seriously. Okay, that's shame cool. On Thank you. I appreciate shame on Pecco. Moving on, take a look at this Karen as she accuses this man of trespassing. What did you just say? What are you right now sitting out here doing? I'm minding my own business. What are you doing? I don't think you are minding your own business. Okay, what do you think I'm doing? I'm not really sure, but I'll figure it out. Okay, you figure it out. I'm probably where I live. Yeah, I yeah. live here too. Okay, so I'm probably at my house where I live. Got it. You feel good? Did you, did you do what you needed to do? What the f are you doing right now? I'm standing outside my house. You're standing outside of my house. Why are you standing outside of your house doing what you're doing? I don't think that's any of your concern, what I'm doing. Well, you're doing something. Why don't you go back to your house and I'll be at my house? Watch as she continues to question what he is doing. You sound like an idiot. You walked over from your house, standing in front of me at my house, yeah, trying did. to tell me I'm Absolutely an idiot? Absolutely, yeah, I did. Okay, good job. So what are you doing? I think I'm doing none of your f***ing business. Bye. And that's where she came from. It's called being black, folks. After the altercation, this Karen's boss released a statement saying, We are aware of a video posted on social media involving a former employee. We value diversity and a discrimination-free workplace. This individual is no longer working with us. Now it is clear that when you call customer service, you will be able to speak to a manager. But after this, Karen was informed that they were all in a meeting. She was furious. Y'all, this lady keep calling. Customer service. Hey, I don't know who you think you are that you think you can hang up in my face, but you're not going to do it again. Okay. Get me a manager on this <laughs> Yo, she called to talk to a manager, right? All the managers are in a meeting, so I let her know that. She said, no, you're not going to hang up on me. So I hung up the first time. Then she just called back again and said what she said. Girl, you're, you don't have any power here. Said you're not going to hang. Bye. <laughs> here she go again. Customer service. I will have you all fired if you don't get me a manager. The managers are in a meeting, ma'am. 
Okay. Well, ma'am, you know what? I am not stupid. You have some... <laughs> Having been told numerous times, she continues to call each department and harass the employee. Customer service. Ma'am, I'm going to keep calling every department till you get somebody. You're going to keep getting me, ma'am. The managers are in a meeting right now. Well, I am glad that you're the only one that I'm going to get because now they'll know who's been such a bitch. Oh, you want a tussle. I am going to report you. You've been rude and disrespectful. I told you the managers are in a meeting, ma'am. I can't and feel your you request. Hung up in my face. You didn't even try. Bye. Need to speak to a manager. They're still in a meeting, ma'am. Then transfer me to electronic. Okay, one second. Seven times. She laughed in my face. And I was so mad with her that I called her a That's how disrespectful she was to me. Karen was kicked out of a restaurant. He is not happy and continues to speak his mind to customers outside. Where's your burrito at? I actually probably like you if you just stop. Your mom. I actually would like you if you just stop. My name is Joe. What's up, Joe? Joe Mama. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's up with this food? Is he alright? He's not gonna help you. You don't need help. He's not gonna help you. Help. He's not gonna help you. You have no food. You go into Chipotle. I don't want Did you get the manager's number? I don't want Did you get the manager's number? Get the out of here. Get the out of here. You're a grown man. He's a grown man. Go do your own thing. You're a grown man. Thank you. Thank you. Go do your own thing. Yes, sir. Have you heard of D's? Enjoy your own Have a nice night, brother. D's. D's nuts. Enjoy your own dinner. I am. Good, nice good. Nice These nuts. You don't need to get on people who are eating. I'm not at Chipotle. I'm on the street. <laughs> <laughs> He's not at Chipotle. He's on the street. These nuts, man. Not only did this Karen not get the satisfaction he wanted from the customers, but the video was later posted and went viral. Moving along, we take a look at what happens when two Karens collide. And you park like an You've idiot. You've been reported. Oh, I already reported you too, baby. Let's see. So she's put my life at risk and my child's life at risk. You've been posted all over Temecula Talk. So have you. And I wonder. I put you on Facebook. I got 10,000 followers I wonder on if TikTok I was a black your, woman. A I wonder if I was a black woman. Get out of my way. Get away from my car. Six feet. You better Six back feet. up. Six feet. You better back oh, I got up. Some too. You I better got some back too. up. I got some too. Someone call 911 right now. Get away. Get away from my car. You're Six feet. Six feet. Six feet. Six feet. You're Six feet. One onlooker described the scene as two chihuahuas yipping at each other, while another asked, am I the only one who was hoping for a mutual pepper spraying? Apologies for the no sound, but this next clip is just too good to not share, because this man changes his mind really quick when he realizes the car he's about to road raid at is a cop. 